glorious. Glorious. Now we go home. They are at our mercy. Commander. I remind you of your duty. All right. <clears throat> Back up here, get it all in. All right. So, belly up. I shot it with the uh, Krylon. Uh, what the hell is that? The satin crystal clear. So, I did the top and had to wait a day or so for that to dry, and then I'll, I did the bottom here. So, it came out. came out really good. Uh, what I didn't mention was that the paint, when I shot it, had just a little bit of a texture to it. But. It wasn't fretting over it too bad because the uh, I knew I was going to paint the uh, put a clear coat on it <clears throat> so I can lay the decal and uh, so the uh, the clear coat took care of it so I got a smooth surface and for some reason my uh, heli my screen here doesn't show the true color of this thing it's a it's a light gray but it's got a greenish tint to it it's ever so subtle uh the only thing i can compare it to is if uh you know you uh mix the to me uh what is it the xf12 and uh a little bit of white you know you get that that gray for the enterprise well put a little uh green in it <clears throat> just to greenish it up and that's what this thing looks like like i said it's subtle it's gray you know but it's subtle so uh that's where i'm at right now so this thing will dry for a day uh i am gonna copy the decals just in case that way i can print out uh, a second set if i need to uh i don't hope i mean i should say i, I don't anticipate having a problem because the decals are in multiple pieces but uh, you never know so, like I said, uh, I'll do that, and then tomorrow, probably start putting the, uh, the great bird on the bottom here. Uh, and once I got that done, I'll shoot that with uh, another coat of clear. And then probably, I don't know, uh, I don't want it shiny, but I don't know about the flat either, so I'm going to have to... Uh, I have to shoot a test sample of plastic and then uh, put the, put the flat on it and see how that comes out because I really don't want it too flat if you if that makes any sense. I just don't want a sheen on it either. So uh, all right, so that's it for now. Belly up, it's drying, and uh, well, next step is a decal. So. All right, so what I have done, uh, all I did right now is just tape the bird together, uh, just so that uh, all the seams line up. Uh, then I drew a center line right down the uh, middle of the ship, the belly, and <clears throat> kind of positioned the decal so that the wings will fit on the uh, on the wings and then go down uh, the key point right here is is this and I just kind of bumped it so um, but the key point is right here on both sides um, and as you can see there the wing tip it needs to hit that joint in order to stay on the wing so uh, now what I got to do is just uh, untape it and and do the uh, and start laying down the decal. I did draw an outline here and draw an outline here, and actually this point and this point line up with the V that the bottom of the hull makes from here to here. So that's a good reference point. Um, 
the head is actually separated from the body so this is a this is one piece this is one piece this is one piece this is another this is another and this is another and luckily they give you the outline the black outline on each piece so if I were to take this piece off there's a black outline at the end of the at the end of this piece that this is supposed to overlap and it gives you a little bit of fudge room same thing with this right here uh, you got black outline here and the body has a bat look, uh, black outline so gives you a look like I said a little bit of wiggle room so what I'm gonna do is all right let's switch batteries again uh, as I was saying what I'm gonna do is lay down this piece first make sure I got it on my center line on my V then I'll add each wing to it after it dries and then work out but this is the key piece right here so uh, come back when uh, when I got it going all right <clears throat> so when I've done because of my wires are coming through the belly um, I didn't want to slit it long ways what I want to do is kind of hide the cut and let me kind of zoom in here what I did was I made a cut <clears throat> with the exacto from here over the black line and then just followed this around and out and what that should allow me to do is cover this seam when uh, when I have the decal on the body and it's set so what what I may what we may only see is just this slight slit from here to here but you know a little bit of weathering hopefully it'll uh, cover it up so all right let's see how it goes yeah I forgot I was gonna show you this once I took the decal uh, you know off so as you can see this is where my corners uh, I don't know that's kind of faint but this is where the tail should end up here and the feather and then up here is my center line uh, up through the photon emitter plasma emitter whatever that uh, the decal so I'm, I'm gonna use this point and this point as the center line for the decal I'll put that center line on the center line of the ship and uh, like I said from there everything should line up once I build up the decal so all right all right I've got the main body on in the head and the one wing um, the problem I've got so far is this decal must have been printed on white so uh, I, I initially trimmed it as close as I could to the black line or the outline of the bird but um, my lesson I learned I guess with the body was I need to trim it right up to the outline as you can see a little bit of white here and I'll wait for the decal to fully dry before I trim that uh, so the other decals I went ahead and trimmed back what I got is this decal doesn't line up at all uh, so but it's black on black so what I'll do is I'll take a marker and fill that in um, the compound curve surface here is creating havoc with the decal particularly right here and right here and I got some microsol soaking in it to pull it down the other part is right here uh, as you can see this part right here split Ooh, let me get back in camera so um, after everything dries uh, go back and do a little touch up you know weathering and cover it uh, my seam that you see right here I cut it over and then down and around I just need to touch up with a little marker black here and the seam of the leg but it came out pretty decent uh, it's not perfect but it's it's fixable so uh, I gotta wait let it dry and then I'll do the other wing so that's where I'm at right now. 
Alright, I got the last of the bottom decals on. Um, there's going to be some touch up on the black lines. Uh, and as I said, this part right here didn't fit very well. So, I guess a, uh, a black marker. And they must have did the decal in white and then the orange and then the black over it because uh, you know I tried tried cutting right to the edge of the decal and there are some places that as you can see there the white underlying is showing so I can try trimming that but uh, some of this other stuff I'm gonna have to use a marker to uh, uh, use a marker to cover up so, but for the most part, it laid down pretty good. Uh, that area right there, like I said, I went around the uh, the hole, and I just made that slit and then ran down the leg. So, uh, like I said, that'll be easily covered up with a marker, the, the orange. Uh, the orange will get covered up with some weathering. I do plan on weathering this thing a little bit, uh, but for the most part, it went on. You know, just a little bit of patience. Uh, do each section, let it dry. I did wind up using uh, using the microsol only because there's two areas right here where the nacelle meets the wing, and this part right here it just would not lay down. So actually, what I wound up doing was slitting about maybe uh, I don't know not quite a half inch but I had to slit this area here just so that it would lay down because it kept bubbling up or I should say creasing up so that, that slit took care of that um, alright so what I'm going to do is let this dry for a few hours and then flip it over and do the do the top part so that's where I'm at right now right, check back later Alright, let me. I got the decals on. I had to do some creative carving. The decals are not set for this ship. They were probably about a half inch too long on the wings. So, what I did was kind of spliced. Uh, and I don't like I said, I don't mind showing you guys the process, but uh, what I'll do is I'll take a marker and do the black edge. Um, same thing in the back. Like I said, everything was just too big. Uh, and I don't have the software to scale it down, so. Uh, so I'll cover it up with the uh, with a marker. Put the, put the border back in. Um, same thing here. So, and of course the neck didn't line up. So what I'm gonna do is take, like I said, a black marker. Cover up the uh, cover up the, the gaps and as you can see that's where I made the slit and follow the leg down and out so I can get the decal around the post but like I said decal really wasn't scaled to this model correctly so and like I said I didn't have the software to, to do it and you know I don't know if Jerry could have done something with it or whatever without having the model in his possession, so I don't say it is what it is, but like I said, there's a workaround in it. So, all right, I'll show you what it looks like after I get the marker taken care of. All right, Larry back here. Been working on this thing off and on. Um, been having damn computer problems, so I haven't uploaded anything. Haven't been able to put anything together. So uh, I just <clears throat> just keep moving on here. Uh, I'm not sure the last time we. We uh, took some video as to what we covered, so let me, uh, if I'm repeating myself, and so be it. So, what I've done, and let me get the strap out of the way. 
so what we had was number one the damn decals aren't sized correctly for this model um, I don't know both 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 wing wing pieces were way too long so what I wound up doing was kind of uh, a little bit of creative carving and cut out literally about uh, three-eighths of an inch out of this piece here because according to the uh, the layout the scallop the scallop should have ended at the nacelle and what it was doing if I had left it to this piece would have came way up on the nacelle so <clears throat> I made a cut here and cut out there was another scallop here and then another one like I said way up here so I wound up cutting this out and then just you know like I said creatively made the cut so you, it's seamless and then just took a, a sharpie well a very fine point sharpie and did the uh, did the, the black line again so I did it as well as over here and I got a little bit of a a little bit of a divot there uh, like I said I just had the same problem back here this thing actually came out way past the end of the ship so I took out about a quarter of an inch here and <clears throat> like I said did some creative carving so that the the scallop blended in on both sides uh, on the bottom Like I said, the neck, you know, like I said, none of this kind of, none of this stuff lined up really well. Uh, this part came out well, uh, you know, not that I want to point it out, but I'm just saying it was doable. Essentially what I'd done was, here's my hole for the uh, post. I made a slit right to this black line and then carefully cut following the black all the way out to here so it gave me a flap that I was able to slide the decal around the post <coughs> um, I don't know if you can see it with a glare but I went in and I faintly essentially what I took was a uh, a very light colored pencil you know out of a Prismacolor set that I have and I drew in the landing gear circles like I said very faint I didn't want it stark contrast to the decal but they're there uh, so I <laughs> kind of cheated like I said I, I put the circle in and then I kind of wiped it and it knocked out some of the color but if you get up close you can see it so they're there and that's kind of what I wanted what I'm going to do and that's what I'm working on is on my uh, on my drawings and let me go get one Boop. so and we'll flip it around so it's correct but on my drawings I have the shuttle bay you know so out of here is the two shuttle bays so what I'm gonna do is get my square templates <coughs> draw out uh, probably a tape or a piece of cardstock and uh, I'll draw out the uh, the shuttle bays kind of tape them in place you know make sure they're where I want them and then do the same thing trace it in the uh, in the light gray pencil and then just put a, a shot of clear coat over it uh, I do plan on weathering it, um, so that's next on the agenda. Uh, I painted my uh, my fins in the nacelle, uh, kind of a um, it's not a jade green, it's not a forest green, it's kind of in between. Uh, actually, using this stuff here this folk art acrylic so uh, it's called clover so anyway you know if you if you've 
watching Trekworks Boyd over there uses those acrylics. So I'm trying to transition to it, so I haven't quite got the hang of it yet, but uh, they definitely do work. You know, you thin them out correctly. So anyway, so I painted the, uh, the inside of the nacelle there. Uh, we'll go from there. <clears throat> I also... Uh, frosted the nacelle domes with uh, the Krylon, it's called frosted glass finish. Uh, there, let me yeah, just keep giving you shots on my messy bench here. So, this is what I'm using to frost those, and it worked really well. I should have, uh, wish I had had this when I'd done the. Uh, the end caps on the on the USS Pyrene reefs. You know, like I said I like I like this a lot better. And I only did just the inside, and as you can see, the outside, you know, left you know left glossy. The inside's what I did, and like I said, it come out really good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, what else? Uh, <clears throat> These are in rough, you know, these are just kind of, like I said, rough, roughly painted right now. What I got to do is clean out the, uh, the hole here so that the, uh, the glow will show through. Uh, it's just lightly, lightly painted of a thing. This was a, a, a clear resin piece that came with it, so, like I said, once I clean that out and put the light behind it, then, uh, it'll show up uh, the vents. There's actually some vertical vents that come down from the centerpiece. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna scrape that out so that they're visible so it should look pretty good. Then those go into the nacelle end caps and I'll glue them on so that's kinda where I'm at right now. Uh, so, yeah. Like I said, it's, it's all along, it's coming along good. So. Like I said, that'll get covered up with the nacelle end cap, which are still in the box. I, I used uh, the rust -Oleum chrome and then gloss coated it. Uh, so, alright, till, till the next step, then uh, that's it for now. So, thanks for looking. Alright, had to bring the base in on here so I can lay everything out, but uh, this is Jerry's graphic that he came up for me and let me uh, let me show you hopefully that's what it's gonna look like um, I don't know how I'm gonna get that bird in there because I got I got that that's gonna go in the center so and I don't really want to waste that bird I mean he did such a damn good job but ultimately that's what it's gonna look like when it's done so what I'm gonna do is kind of cut out the uh, the green and the yellow. Actually, you know, probably just the yellow. So what I'll do is I'll probably just remove the individual uh, panels that are not gonna be in place. So like I said, man, he did such a damn good job. Oh my god, I hope it comes out really good. So, but anyway, all right. So this is this is how we're starting putting this thing together so see how it comes All right, here I got it done. The only issue I had was uh, when I was going to swap out the yellow graphics. Um, I tried peeling them up, and it wound up pulling the uh, pulling the clear coat up. So I had to change plans, and uh, basically what I did was just. Uh, laid the yellow back over the green as Jerry provided two sets of masks essentially 
Um, so, all in all, it came out pretty damn good. I like it. Uh, uh, I have some extra. I don't know what are you going to call it, characters for uh, those things there. I'll use them when I put the switches in here. So, look pretty cool. But anyway, that's the Romulan base complete. And <clears throat> I figure I'll show you this. Jerry Hedgecock over there at HDA Model Works did this graphic for me. Two color. And. I almost slipped here, but I'm telling you, this thing is effing awesome that he did for me. This is a 12x12 12 12 base. Uh, I had done with a black, you know, it basically it's it's sealed, uh, spray painted black, gloss coated, and uh, polished. And then I put his graphics on it, um, as you see, and that's my my Romulan homeworld and then the, you know like I said with the rod out I gotta drill the, uh, the switches in uh, in place um, I really don't want to mess up his graphics but I think I'm gonna put you know put one here put the other one over here uh, just one of the, the the round toggle switches I think that'll come out freaking sweet but man this thing came out I like this this is really this is really top-notch stuff so like I said the man's talented so uh, you know you ask him if you ask him nicely to you know kind of help you out with some of your your ideas and you know this guy works miracles man so it's awesome like I said Jerry Jerry over at HDA model works you know knock this out and then like I said it's awesome so I'm happy, really happy with it. So, all right, Larry is back with you. I got uh, downtime on my damn computer. It's been about a month and a half jerking around with the, the one guy. So uh, I took it to somebody else, and the guy fixed it within two days. So, all right. So we're gonna finish off the Romulan 1350 scale bird of prey. All right. Uh, this is it. This is finished. So, um, just kind of did some light weathering on it. Uh, you know, using the uh, Tamiya, I don't know if you call them chalks or whatever, look like, uh, call it makeup for models. Well, that's what I used. So, I didn't go too overboard, but I, you know, just wanted to show it that it was a little bit, uh, weather it up so um frosted up the uh nacelle caps and you can see slightly behind it my uh my little uh veins in there they don't spin they're static uh there's the plasma emit uh and the awesome base that jerry hitchcock over at hda model works did the graphics for so just a wooden base with my, you know, polyurethane sanded down, painted, primed black. Put some lights in it, and Jerry gave me the uh, gave me the graphics. And man, does it stand out! So kudos to him. Like I said, the man man's talented. So, uh, so I don't know, I'm not sure where the hell I left off without going back and looking at it. But what I had done was the kit gives you these uh, vinyl window frames. So I think it took me a couple of nights to to do all of them. So um, I kind of cheated at the base there. You can't really see it in my viewfinder right here. But at the uh, the vertical wall, what I did was I took some of the uh, some of the masks from uh, Aztec Dummy for the Enterprise, the uh, uh, the porthole covers, and I just put one underneath each one of the through holes on the uh, on the uh, slanted part. There it came out good. So uh, moving around, 
my cutouts for the uh, I call it the impulse so and then uh, what you want to see and I have to tilt it is the decal now I know this is a garage kit however there were some issues with the decal and uh, I wasn't sure if I'd set it off to uh, you know Jerry or somebody who could resize it for me because I don't have the software to do it but the damn uh, certain sections on a decal didn't work or didn't fit I should say particularly this one right here on each side so what I wound up doing was actually cutting out a scallop there was actually one of these tip scallops here which put this let me get you a frame here which put the end of this decal up in here so the whole thing wasn't really sized correctly for this particular wing like I said both of them so I kind of did a little uh, creative carving and you know I got a little glitch there but basically what I did was I sliced it out and then used a uh, a fine tip marker to create the border again um, had the same issue with this one this one was way too long so I kept this edge kept that edge cut out about a quarter of an inch in the middle here uh, same thing on the tail same thing on the on that one now what else you know I'm just gonna I mean, it's a it's a good kit. You just kind of have to be, uh, like I said, a little creative on it. But uh, the bottom one came out good. Uh, let me set it down there. Uh, what I wound up doing was I poked a hole in in the decal because the decal was uh, uh, what the hell was it? I think three three parts, four parts, five parts. So you had the body, you had each wing. Then you had the uh, the wing tip. So what I wound up doing was taking uh, the body, cutting a hole in it, and I kind of made a slice over to the black part of the leg, all the way down to that seam, and cut out. So it gave me a flap. So I kind of maneuvered it in place, and it worked out well. So that's how I got my wires around the decal. Um, Let's see, what else? I mean, other than that, it, it lay down pretty good. I used uh, some Microsol. Uh, I can never remember the two. One, one sets it, one softens it, vice versa, or whatever. But around here, just kind of wanted to make a little uh, kink, kind of a compound curve. So uh, the Microsol laid it down really well. Uh, same thing here, because it wants a curve up. And it, there's a divot here where the nacelle meets the wing and then it kind of lays out again so Microsoft laid it down a couple of applications of that so uh, other than that I mean it's pretty uh, straightforward I've actually had this thing done probably about two three weeks now I just kind of been lazy shooting the final video because I didn't have the computer to, to put it back up so with that said there's the hull lights all lit up or sensor lights whatever you want to call them but uh, the hull lights are are lit all right and uh, this button over here I put the engines so I put some flickering LEDs and for some reason the camera gives a little bluish tint, but it's actually, uh, you know, a green. So. I didn't wind up, I did not put any uh, cotton in there. It just kind of looked hokey, I guess you could say, if back a, lack of a better term. Uh, so. Come around here. 
this than the cell. So that was a clear piece. It was cast in resin, uh, a clear resin. And what I had done was, uh, uh, again, I think I used uh, some leftover uh, porthole covers that uh, from Aztec Dummy and put them in the uh, the round pieces, then primered it, <coughs> shot it in black, and then painted over it in like a uh, a jet exhaust. And then peeled the mask off and, and cleaned it up a little bit, but uh, you know, it came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. And there's my impulse, another some more flickering red light. Uh, and then the other engine I had a little light leak around the uh, the end net cell caps, so you know, a little bit of a liquefied uh, plastic putty and some touch up on, uh, on the, uh, the chrome. Actually, what I wound up doing, I uh, shooting these, the uh, you know, the model, the uh, what the hell, the polar lights. They tell you to have it chrome. I was like, eh, you know, freaking this isn't a hot rod. So I, uh, I shot it in a rust oleum, uh, rust oleum silver or rust oleum uh, stainless steel, something like that. And then, like I said, I used the uh, Tamiya model makeup and uh, kind of weathered it down. You know some streaks in that, but uh, I mean, other than that, I you know you saw the you saw me as I was building it, and uh, you know it took some time, but you know this is like I said, it's a garage kit, so vacuum form, and you know I beefed it up, and you know the kit's really rigid, so you know you take your time, you can you can build one of these up, and you know have it look good, so and that's the key. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of bummed out is my my photon emitter doesn't work I don't know what uh, what happened but uh, you know the LED so the only thing I got to do now is I'm not gonna crack it open to make the damn thing work but uh, I'm just gonna paint those a uh, red so the idea was it had a momentary so I'd push it and then it would uh, it would fire off um, you know the, the it would kind of like warm up and then fire and then cool off again so but anyway it doesn't it doesn't work so anyway so for that is it that is the Romulan bird of prey in 1350 scale and Jerry Hitchcock's awesome graphics for my base so thanks for looking and just because I can There's the two of them together, one three fifty scale. That's the uh, that's my Enterprise. The one three fifty scale Romulan bird of prey. I don't know about you guys who have built this thing. This is the uh, the light kit from uh, from round two. This is the original light kit. This you know I was on that 1701 club, and then uh, I don't know if anybody else has experienced it, <clears throat> but when I power this thing up, it takes about a half an hour for lights to kind of warm up and start blinking again, which is a little irritating. The saucer lights take about a half an hour to start blinking, and the little lights inside the uh, the cell, you know, the in between the main major ones take about a half an hour to kind of warm up. So, a little irked about that. So, but anyway, I'll get everybody. I, shit, I got to stand back. Right now, I'm standing back about uh, four feet just to get the two of these in. That's how they work. You know, but so anyway, that's yeah, we got God Almighty, these things are big. They're nice, but they're big. Well, anyway, kitchen in the background, but <laughs> that's the the one three fifty. 
original Enterprise and the 1350 A&W Studios Romulan Bird of Prey. Alright, so moving on to the next build. Thank you for looking. Captain, standing by to beam your survivors aboard our ship. Prepare to abandon your vessel. No. No, it's not our way. I regret that we meet in this way. You and I are of a kind in a different reality. I could have called you friend. What purpose will it serve to die? We are creatures of duty, Captain. I have lived my life by it. Just one more duty to perform.